what we're seeing is, if you could just imagine, you're going 85 miles an hour on Highway 85, and then you slow down to 65 because you saw a police. When that happens, it feels like 65 is crawling, but it's actually the normal speed. And that's kind of what we're experiencing in real estate. Hey everybody, it's Rusty Pop with Pop Properties of Intero Real Estate Services. And here today, I just wanna do a quick video about the market. I like to do these market updates from time to time. And this one is a follow-up to the one I did last month where I talked a little bit about how I thought the market might actually cool down in the near future. We're starting to see that. What happens is when the market has an incredible run up like we've had, I mean, honestly, the last six months has been the most incredible market I've ever seen in 20 years. The hottest market in history, honestly. What happens is sellers start wanting to become sellers because of the price. They actually become motivated by selling to cash in on that money as opposed to what normally drives real estate sales, which is life events like marriages, children being born, kids going to college or retirement. We're seeing now that inventory is ticking up and as a result, there's more options for buyers. And what those buyers are seeing is that all of a sudden they went from having zero to two houses a week to look at, to having maybe five, six or seven homes in their criteria that match. And that's a huge difference. So in Blossom Valley, and this is just one subset of the single family market in the Silicon Valley, we saw in a 30 day period, in the first 21 days of that 30 day period, there were eight listings on the market. The following seven days, so 21 days, eight listings, the following seven days, 28 listings. So that's a huge influx of new inventory, which causes buyers to pull back, but don't get it mistaken. There are still more buyers than sellers. They're just not acting with the same amount of urgency. It's still a seller's market. But that being said, things are taking longer to sell. We might see some downward pressure on price over the next 30 to 60 days. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about selling. You may not be able to cash in on that future equity that everybody keeps thinking, it's 100 grand a month, it's 100 grand a month. It's not gonna go up like that over the next 30 to 60 days. 